space is continually offering up new mysteries for scientists and astronomers to unpack and attempt to solve. And although it often seems as though many of these mysteries are unsolvable, every day we get closer to understanding more and more about the infinite vastness that stretches out beyond our own planet Earth. Whether it is strange phenomena in our own galaxy or mystifying occurrences hundreds upon hundreds of light years away, scientists have set out to uncover as much as they possibly can about the cosmic world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the final frontier. Strange Infrared Light Emitting from a Pulsar The cosmos is a thing of awe, horror and fascination. Space has been the subject of speculation for aeons. Among some of the most questioned space-related topics, black holes and neutron stars have to be some of the most popular discussed topics due to how little we truly know about them or how they fit in the larger scheme of the universe. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has discovered something unsettling and intriguing. One neutron star has been caught displaying strange swirls of glowing infrared light. When a supernova explodes, it sometimes leaves behind neutron stars. Neutron stars are an estimated 1.4 times denser than our Sun, but only 12.4 miles in diameter. Space.com claims that at such an insane density, a teaspoon would weigh a billion tons. Occasionally, neutron stars spin at high speeds and release electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays. These neutron stars are known as pulsars. RXJ 0806.4-4124 is the name of the neutron star emitting infrared light and studying it might help develop our understanding of how neutron stars work. RX and six other X-ray pulsars near us, being 3,300 light-years away from Earth, are referred to by astronomers as the Magnificent Seven. The reason why these seven stars are so extraordinary is that they burn intensely hot, hotter than they logically should, given the available energy at their disposal and their age. They also spin around at a slower rate than most other known pulsars. Bettina Posselt, a lead author of an astrological paper in the Astrophysical Journal, states, We observed an extended area of infrared emissions around this neutron star the total size of which translates into about 200 astronomical units, approximately 18 billion miles, at the assumed distance of the pulsar. Never before has a pulsar emitted infrared light, especially with such an insanely large signal. The emission is clearly above what the neutron star itself emits. It doesn't come from the neutron star alone. And though astronomers are frantically coming up with theories and suggestions, Nothing can be proven just yet. We will have to observe and hope that we will be able to uncover the secrets of the pulsar RXJ 0806.4-4124. Scientists discover rare asteroid that will follow Earth in orbit for the next 4,000 years. There are millions, if not billions, of asteroids potentially whizzing around in space, Scientists who discover these travelling lumps of rock have plenty of examples to study and learn from. But it is not every day that something truly special shows up. In this case, it is what's known as an Earth Trojan asteroid, which is a small piece of space rock that has the same orbit as Earth. A study only recently published announced that researchers had proven the asteroid's existence and also stated that the rock will be following Earth's orbit for at least another several thousand years. A team of astronomers from the Institute of Cosmos Sciences of the University of Barcelona proudly declared their discovery of 2020 XL5, the second Earth Trojan ever confirmed, after 10 years of tireless searching. 2020 XL5 is believed to be around 0.7 miles in diameter. For context, the first Earth Trojan, 2010 TK7, was 0.2 miles in diameter. The size is important in Earth Trojan asteroids, as the sweet spot allows the rock to balance within Earth's orbit around the Sun. Trojan asteroids are nothing new. For decades, we have been aware of Trojans on Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, though Earth ones have proven to be more elusive. There have been many previous attempts to find Earth Trojans. Tony Santana Ross, 
one of the authors of the new publication said to press, all the dedicated efforts had so far failed to discover any new members of this population. Spotting Earth Trojans is surprisingly difficult. Because of their distance to the Sun, the window of opportunity to spot them is very small. It is only around sunrise that we can try to catch a glimpse of them. However, scientists have got around this by utilizing huge telescopes in Arizona and Cerro Pachon in Chile to photograph the asteroids. Scientists are interested in Trojans mostly due to their age, as many of them were around during the earliest stages of the solar system. They are effectively time capsules of the conditions for that time. In fact, NASA's Lucy mission, which launched in October 2021, is set to visit eight different Trojan asteroids in the next 12 years. Scientists watch distant exoplanet collision Researchers are discovering that planetary collisions occur much later in the history of a star system than originally thought. In 2019, scientists recorded warm dust in the star system BD plus 20307 for the second time. The amount of dust was a 10% increase from observations made a decade earlier. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope is responsible for the original debris sighting. But the new data comes from SOFIA, which stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. SOFIA is an airplane telescope owned by NASA and the German Aerospace Center. SOFIA is managed by NASA's Silicon Valley-based Ames Research Center, alongside the University's Space Research Association in Columbia, Maryland, and the German SOFIA Institute of the University of Stuttgart. The Boeing 747SP jetliner and the 106-inch diameter telescope that make up SOFIA is operated by NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Palmdale, California. SOFIA's telescope revealed the 10% dust increase thanks to FORECAST, which stands for Faint Object Infrared Camera, which can measure infrared brightness. The increased dust is seen as an extra glow beyond what the stars produce themselves and beyond the measurements taken 10 years previously. These changes in the amount of dust within the small span of 10 years suggest that scientists now have the opportunity to study planetary collisions in older exoplanet systems. While dust is not exclusive to collisions, warm dust is not typically found in aged solar systems, and this system contains billion-year-old stars. Planets are originally formed from dust that orbit stars and gradually stick together, forming masses. In new solar systems, Leftover debris is easy to come by, but eventually remaining dust particles crash into each other and become so small that they are blown away from the system or pulled into a star. Increased glow in dust can also be explained by extra heat absorption or migration towards stars, but this is not thought to occur in such a short time frame. Therefore, researchers are convinced that a relatively recent collision between two Earth-like exoplanets is causing the dust. This collision, which likely happened only a few hundred thousand years in the past, may have caused a domino effect of other smaller collisions that create more of this warm dust. While this type of collision happens frequently in younger systems, it is not expected to occur in a system as old as BD plus 20307. While planets crashing may sound like a disaster, this solar system is 300 light years away, and scientists are excited to observe how the aftermath plays out. It will now be possible to study how a solar system evolves after such a significant impact. We already know that similar collisions have important effects on solar systems. It is thought that our Moon is formed from debris created 4.5 billion years ago from a collision between Earth and an object the size of Mars. Now we have the chance to witness something similar in real time. According to Alicia Weinberger, lead investigator and scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science, this is a rare opportunity to study catastrophic collisions occurring late in a planetary system's history. Hopefully, further observations of the system will help scientists learn more about the evolution of the exoplanet system, leading us to understanding more of our own solar system's past. Chances are, we will soon have the answers to what happens when planets collide. A chunk of satellite almost hit the International Space Station. 
Earlier this month, the ISS had no choice but to skillfully shift itself out of the path of collision with a remnant of a satellite, among other space trash. The crew residing aboard the International Space Station increased the urgency of the situation and meant that the ISS had to abruptly change orbit on the 11th of November to ensure the safety of its temporary crew. The station has been running for 23 years, and within those two decades, it has had around 30 near collisions with various trash and debris floating around space that needed the station to shift its orbit or urgently move in some way. Three such almost collisions happened last year in 2020, but in May 2021, the station suffered a genuine hit to its arm. The damage caused by a tiny piece of cosmic rubble caused a 5mm hole to appear in the station. The Fengyang 1C satellite, created for weather monitoring purposes, was shattered by a missile test, creating over 3,500 pieces of dangerous space junk that now flows through the cosmos. Unfortunately for the International Space Station, many of the Fengyun 1C's fragments have made their way close to it over the years. A Russian Progress supply spacecraft that was fortunately docked in the ISS at the time was able to fire rockets and blast the station away from the course of collision with Fengyun 1C merely six minutes before it would have been hit. The rockets pushed the ISS out of the way and increased its speed by 0.7 meters per second. This, in turn, raised the station's orbit by 1.2 kilometers. The ISS's orbit is about 400 kilometers high. Astronauts and cosmonauts worry for the future of space travel because of the growing issues surrounding space debris. The debris threatens all working satellites and space stations positioned in our low orbit and, such as on November 11th, can severely endanger astronauts' lives. The International Space Station is particularly endangered, however, as it is the largest space station currently in space and orbits at a fast speed of 7.66 km per second. Its fast pace, combined with large pieces of debris floating through space, could form a collision that could cause irreversible damage to the space station, not to mention the risk it would entail for any crew members on board. As more satellites are put out into the Earth's orbit, the more obstacles there are to look out for. As of today, there are nearly 5,000 satellites in use in our orbit. SpaceX claims it wants to reach a goal of sending 12,000 satellites into space, currently having 2,000 out in orbit. The company also states they'd like to put 40,000 satellites into orbit at some point in the future. It's estimated there are 330 million space junk objects between 1 mm and 1 cm large and yet another million between 1 cm and 10 cm. At high speeds, such as the ISS's, even the smallest hit from a tiny debris object can cause harm to the station, likewise with all other working satellites. It is impossible to keep track of all the space junk and currently impossible for us to get rid of it. Still, as the problem increases, scientists are working to find a way to remove larger pieces from orbit. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.